All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rechakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone who do rule and teach well. I want to give a peace and salutations to all you Akim out there pushing this truth across the four winds so we can seal the elect and make it to the kingdom. All right, it's your brother Yara, Lord willing, coming back to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, to edify and feed the sheep. All right, so this lesson straight to the point. You know, it's about, uh, you know, in, endurance, you know, enduring hardness, you know, because, uh, matter of fact, let me just read it. Um, well, before I read it, you know, you know, in this truth, you know, people just think that, um, I mean, it really doesn't matter what people think, but, you know, brothers, you know, we do, we do meditate on that, you know, we do notice that. You know, people just think that we're just some crazy guys, you know, Bible bangers, you know, on the highways and hedges, you know, making these lessons, even on the Internet, you know, um, that we're wacky and, you know, we're, we're crazy, you know. But hey, even the scripture says that, you know, roughly paraphrasing that, you know, we're, we're going to be made fools for Yahweh Shai's sake, you know. All right. So, and, you know, Yahweh Shai is the, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, man. His real name was Yahweh Shai. He was a. He was a Hebrew Israelite, okay, from the tribe of Judah, okay. He was he was a so-called. If he walked the earth today, he would be a so-called black man, okay. And that's in the scriptures. That's proven throughout the scriptures, you know. But you know, <clears throat> we are soldiers for Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, you know. And um, you know, the number one thing that you know, with the times that we're coming into, you know, we see these prophecies rolling out. You know, the mark of the beast is around the corner. You have people walking around right now with the mark of the beast implanted inside of either their foreheads or under the skin of their hand. You see? And, you know, the, the you know, you, you have uh, the vaccine pretty much probably most likely, you know, as Esau says, you know, coming this uh, at the end of this month, you know, at the end of uh, November, you know. And, uh, you know, you have uh, uproars of the people. Uh, you have nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. You know, you have World War Three around the corner, you know, with with uh, Joe Biden being the uh, president or being called the president elect, you know, uh, and and uh, literally the next day, you know, you had a uh, uh, um, Iran come out and make a statement pretty much saying that, you know, with him in presidency, with, with him as president, you know, their their fear is that um, it will uh, spark uh, pretty much a, uh, a uh, war, you know, between America and uh, Iran, you know. Which is bound to happen anyway, you know, because that's a uh, prophecy, you know, it's all about prophecy, man, you know, and people don't realize that, you know, I don't, I don't mean to get off topic, but, you know, my point is with all of these prophecies, you know, pretty much are in our face, man, you know, you know, there's going to come a time where, you know, the doors will be shut, you know, as in the time of Noah with, with uh, Noah's Ark, you know, those doors were shut and, uh, you know, mercy, um, was not given anymore man it's gonna be a time of judgment you know we're gonna have to see a lot we're gonna have to go through a lot you know and i just want brothers to really i already know brothers probably meditating on it but just really meditate on the fact that we're gonna have to endure in that time you know and that's pretty much the point of this lesson so like it for being long-winded all right so let's get right into the scriptures this is the book of second timothy chapter chapter 2 and verse 3 and it reads thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, okay? And like I mentioned earlier, you know, we are soldiers for Yahweh Shai Mashiach, okay? The Heavenly Father, which his real name is Yahweh, okay? The Heavenly Father, uh, like it says in the scriptures, you know, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, you see? So the Lord chose us, man. So which means that the Lord, the Lord, the Lord knows that, uh, uh, um, you know, Lord willing, we are a part of that number. You know, as far as being a part of the one third and the elect. OK, but, you know, the, the Lord chose us, man. So he knows that we can endure. You know, we just have to act it out. We just have to go through it. You see. All right. Because uh, um, as, as it also is written in the scriptures, you know, the end was the clear since the beginning. OK, so who's ever who, who, whoever is meant to endure until the end has already done it. It's already written. You see. All right. And, 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 you know, we're out there fighting, you see, we're enduring hardness, you see, uh, 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 um, um, what is that, uh, 
We're enduring chastisement from the Heavenly Father. You see? All right? We're being hated by all nations and, and, and our family, our kindreds, our, our you know, so-called friends from the world. You know, everybody. You see? Brothers go through body ailments and things like that. So we have to endure, you know, with these times that we're coming into. You know, this is just a test run. You see? Everything we're going through now is just a test run. It's just to build up our faith. All right. But our faith is going to be tested as it is written in the scriptures. You see, every you know, all of our faith is going to be tested. You see. All right. But let me read it again. It says thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. OK. And when you go into the blue letter. All right. And you go into the uh, the umbilical usage of that word uh, heart hardness. OK. It's uh, the Greek word. All right. It says uh, G two five five three. All right, and uh, Salak, if I'm mispronouncing this word, all right, it's kakopathio, okay? You see? And what that word means, all right, for hardness, it means to suffer, endure. Endure what? Evils, hardships, and troubles, all right? You see? To be afflicted. And we're coming into a time of what? Jacob's trouble. You see? We're coming into a time of Jacob's trouble, all right? Where even, even though... You know, two thirds are going to be getting judged left and right, you know, at a mass amount. You see, we're also going to have to endure that time as well. You see, now we know that we have faith, you know, and Lord willing brothers keep the faith in that time. You know, but if you do keep the faith, you know, the Lord is going to protect you, man. You see, he's going to protect all of us, man. You know, and I have faith in that. You see. All right. But the point is, we have to endure hardness. All right, as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, all right, and, and and enduring that, you know, enduring that hardness is to suffer, all right, to endure evils, all right, because we're coming into an evil time, all right, all right, and and the word evil goes into uh, uh, bad times, you see, and that's what we're coming into, man, you know, it's it's, it's pretty much set up with that, you know, uh, uh, Esau's putting it out there, man, he's not hiding it, the fact that he's coming after Jake, man. You know, he's coming after Jacob. You know? And when I say Jacob, I mean you so-called Latinos, Negroes, and, no, and, and, and uh, Native and Seminole Indians, man. All right? You see? He's letting it be known in, in, in his in his media, you see? And et cetera, et cetera, man. You know? With these vaccines and, you know, everything, man. You see? he his his Their, their number one target is Jake. All right? Because don't forget those Georgia guy stones, man. All right? And, 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 and the number one, uh, uh, um, you know, thing on that list for 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 the uh, the uh, wicked elite of Esau Edom, man, you see, which is to cut the population down, you know, from from what is it? Uh, Eight billion now. Eight or nine billion. You see people on the planet, you know, they want to cut that down to 500 million, man. All right. And the scriptures say that Jacob. You know, Israel is as the sand of the sea, man. So there are more Israelites on this planet today than any other nation. You see, which which automatically tells you, which automatically should tell you, you see, that Esau Edom is planning to exterminate Jacob, man. All right. But he won't do it. OK, because because the elect. All right. Is prophesied, you know, to get a, 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 um, salvation. man. All right. From the ultimate judgment of Esau Edom in his in his queendom. All right, which is mainly here in, in uh, Babylon, all right, Babylon the Great, aka America, all right, with those thermonuclear warheads destroying this place, man, and Yahweh Shai and an in innumerable amount of angels, you see, all right, but 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 until that time comes, we have to endure, you see, all right, and and and, and keep the faith, don't forget the scriptures, man, you know, we have to meditate on these scriptures, okay, and the scriptures say that, you know, even though we're gonna have to go through that. At that time, you know that that the Lord said he's he, he's going to shorten the he's going to shorten the days, man. You see, for what? For the elect's sake, man. You see. So yes, we're going to have to endure that time, and it's going to be a tough time. You know, it's, it's going to be a scary some some uh, scary times, man. You see, but the Lord is going to shorten those days, man. All right. All we have to all we have to do is 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 keep the faith and endure, man. Even into death, you know, as the scriptures say, you know. We have to really meditate on that, you know. But I have another scripture, all right. You see, and also I want to add, you know, hardness is uh, good for us, man. You know, it makes sure we're not comfortable in this world, but 
in the world and so like in the next world to come all right which is the kingdom of heaven all right well where where the israelites where we'll be will be ruling okay we always shy as king in righteousness you see all right but uh you know this is the book of micah chapter 2 and verse 10 all right it says arise ye and depart all right depart from what depart from this world man you see because who rules the world? Esau, Edom, man, the wicked, all right? And he rules it in wickedness, man. If we're attached to this world, then we're attached to wickedness, man, all right? But the elect is not attached to this world, okay? We that are in this faith, all right, that are of the hopeful elect, we are not attached to this world, man, all right? You see? It says, arise ye and depart, all right? For this is not your rest, all right? It says, because it is polluted, all right? So this is not our rest, you see? And that's why we have to endure hardness, man, you know, and a part of that doing a hardness, go, let, let's go back to it, all right, is to uh, uh, um, uh, uh, to suffer, endure evils, hardships and troubles, man, to be afflicted, you see, all right, so, 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 so with us, with us walking, you know, walking in, in the light, you know, in a shadow of darkness, which is pretty much covering the entire world, you know, walking with Yahweh Shai, and, 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 and the heavenly father yahweh all right you know we're gonna have to endure hardness man all right affliction you see all right but it says uh but it is because it is it is polluted it shall be destroyed so like it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction man all right and and and, and that's only really pertaining to you know the two-thirds all right but it's a reminder for us to 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 pretty much disattach ourselves from the world now you see all right it says uh, uh um going back to that point uh, you know uh, uh um for this is not your rest all right this isn't our rest on this side man all right we realize and it's truth man you know we realize that we're still in captivity all right the wicked is in rulership still you see all right and and and, and you know our rest is going to be in heaven, man, in the kingdom of heaven, okay, which is the next world to come, all right, for as it is written, you know, Esau is the end of the world, all right, which is what we're seeing now, all right, we're seeing, we're seeing Esau's world and his rulership, all right, come to an end, you see, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man, okay, so we're, so our, our, our world, our rulership, okay, is after this, man, you see, and that's what we, and, and that's what we are to single our eye on, man, you see, this is the book of Hebrew, the Hebrews chapter four and verse nine. All right. And it reads there remaineth therefore a rest to the people of the most high Yahweh. Man. You see, let me read that again. There remaineth therefore a, re a rest, you see, to the people of the heavenly father Yahweh. All right. And that's the Israelites, man. All right. Us as an entire nation, man, in the kingdom, even the two thirds when they, when they're when they're when they are brought back. All right. Through through the through the uh, seed line of the elect. You see us as a nation, man, you know, uh, uh, um, that'll be our rest, man, in the kingdom of heaven. man. You see. All right. Then then we then we can be complacent and relaxed and comfortable. You see. But on this side, we are to be the complete opposite. All right. You see, stand on your toes, stand on your ground, you know, continue to be watchmen, okay? Be circumspect, all right? You see, to look around, you see, observe, observant, all right? This is uh, the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, all right, in verse 4, and it reads, No man that warreth, so like no man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, man, and that's this world, man. That that's this this world, this uh, present world that we're living in right now, man. All right, we don't entangle with ourselves in this world, man. All right, because it's wicked, you know. Just like we just like we just read, you know, it is polluted. All right, and it, and and it will destroy us with a, with a sore destruction, you see. And that's why we we don't entangle in, we don't entangle ourselves within this world, man. You see, all right. It says that uh, 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 no man that that warth, all right, and what and, and what are we warring against, all right? What are we at war against, man? All right, the principalities, man. You see, the principalities. We don't war with the flesh, man. All right. 
you know, in a sense of, you know, we don't we don't go out and, you know, tote guns and, you know, try to physically harm, you know, uh, 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 um, our enemies. You see. All right. Because we we're, we're going to be patient and wait on the Heavenly Father, man, to do that for us, man. All right. As it is written, vengeance is his, man. You see. All right. If we're in trouble, we're, we, we are to come to the Heavenly Father, man. He's going to fight our battles, man, as he has always been. OK, since we have came into this truth, man. You see. All right. It is also written that, you know, uh, uh, um, um, the spirit war with the flesh, man. All right. And we are in the spirit. You see, walking with the Heavenly Father and his son, Yahweh Shai. You see. So we, so so, you know, us being in this chains of darkness, you know, a.k.a., you know, this flesh, you know, our bodies, you know, uh, 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 um, it's polluted, man. You know, it's corrupt. You see, demons can jump on us and, you know, you, you might have uh, thoughts in your head about a brother or a sister, you know, uh, 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 your kids, you know, you might get lazy, you know, you might have, you might have a demon jump on you and, you know, give you some type of body ailment, you know, with, uh, you know, uh, 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 um, back pains and spasms, you see, those are things that we are to endure, all right, those are hardness that we, sh that, that we are to endure, all right, as a, as a soldier of Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, all right. Let me finish it off. It says, no man that worth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. See, see, that's our number one goal, man, is to please the heavenly father, man, who chose us. We didn't choose him. He chose us. All right. But not only did he choose us, he chose us to be soldiers, man. You see, and as soldiers, we are to endure hardness, man. All right. Especially with the times that's that that that's a uh, that's a uh, right around the corner, man. You see, the times to come. All right. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus slash Sirach, chapter two and verse one. All right, and it reads, "My son, if thou if thou come to serve the Lord Yahweh, prepare thy soul for temptation, man. All right, and we get faced with all types of temptations, man. You know, it might have been something that you know a uh, uh, um you know a a um how can I, how can I explain it? It might've been some type of a uh, lust or, you know, you know, sin that you were, you know, occupied in back in the world, you know, before you came in, you know, before the Lord chose you out of the world, you know, and brought you into this faith, you see that you might, you know, uh, 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 um, be, you know, uh, 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 um, presented with or, or attacked with, you see, we are to fight that man, you know, fighting the flesh, you see. Fighting that temptation, you see? All right? Because why? Because we are to endure, you see? Endure hardness. All right? This is the book of uh, 1 Corinthians, and then I'm going I'm to I'm I'm end it off on this. All right? Book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 13, and it reads, There hath no temptation, all right, taken you, but such as is common to man, all right. So, so all of us in this truth, man. Don't ever feel. Don't ever let that demon jump on you and, and and make you feel like or make you or try to convince you that, oh, I'm going through this. Brothers don't understand what I'm going through. The scriptures just said that there's nothing, there's no temptation. You see that that any of us have or have or is going through. You see, that is common unto men. All right. You see, so we're all going through it, man. You see, probably probably and you know it's probably packaged different. You see, but we're all being chastised, man. We're all being brought through that fire. You see, because just like the scriptures say, you know, we are we are we are gold being tried in the fire. You see, we are gold. And, and if you know anything about gold, all right, that's a that's a that's a uh, 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 um, a uh, a uh, material that can't be destroyed, man. All right. You see. And when they try to purify gold, what do they do? They burn it. All right. To burn out what? All the impurities. You see, and that's what the Heavenly Father is doing to us, man, spiritually, you see, all right, shaving off that old man, as the scriptures say, you see, all right, and when you shave off that old man, guess what, Satan's going to try to bring it right back to you, man, he's going to try to present it to you, you see, for instance, if you used to, let's say, you know, if you're a brother that you used to smoke weed, you know, back in, you know, the world before coming into this truth or being called into this truth, you know, you might be, you know, you, you might bump into, uh, you know, old friend from back in the world, man, that that, that want to roll up or smoke with you, man. 
You see? But you have to fight that, you know? And if you're in the spirit, it's going to be easy for you to fight that, man. Why? Because, matter of fact, let me keep reading. All right? It says, who will not, it's like, it, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able? All right? But will, with the temptation, also make a way to escape, all right, that, that ye may be able to bear it, okay? And what is that way to escape? What is that way that the Lord, you know, uh, 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 um, um, gave us to fight that, to fight temptations, man, to fight the flesh? The scriptures, man, all right? The Lord has given us the scriptures, man. That's why the, that's why the Lord said, you know, well, well, as it is written, all right? We're going to meditate on these precepts day and night, man. You see? And brothers, in this truth, you know, you meditate on these scriptures day and night, man. You know, even through the walks of your life, when, you, when you're at work, you know, when you're in any situation or, or anywhere or any place, you see? And that's, and, and, and that's our way to escape, man. That's what's going to help propel us, man, to endure into the end, all right? You see? To, 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 to ultimately endure that hardness, all right? So that's the point, you know, uh, um, I'm going to end it off there. Lord willing, this was edifying to the body and the fed the sheep through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rikakwadash, Shalom, and Ababa Ball.